Well, welcome all, and welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the sports show of Barry Peatling. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe, and to all my viewers around the world and in the state. It's a nice warm day in Chelsea, but it's been very, very cold at night. So cold at night, warm during the day. But that's the way it goes. It's put up with it. Autumn. Quite easily, yeah. Now, before we get into the World Cup, you want to talk about this here? I yeah, just found the old mate Dicky Clay, who used to play for Richmond, and that was a Super Rules combined side, Victorian side, back in 81 or 83? 81? 81, yeah. We went up there and... Uh, you played on Sid Jackson? Played on Sid Jackson, who was a star. Phil P.H. remember Sid Jackson, who was a star for Carlton McCurdy. That was at Canberra... Uh, who was the opposition? Canberra. Oh, Canberra, Victoria versus It was Canberra. a curtain raiser to the grand final of their comp- of their competition. Oh, OK, yeah, right. And we beat them. What are we, the scores there? It says there, your scores, it's got one score, it's 5 seven, Yeah, we won by two points. Two points. Yeah. Um, Barry Peyton, third best on ground. I finished up staying the night. I met someone up there and Crackers Keenan, would you believe? Yeah, yeah Crackers Keenan. Yeah, it was Crackers, yeah. He's a very funny man. We we come back the next day. We changed, we changed their flight. Yeah. And he was he's a very funny man, Crackers. I know he's a bit silly. But he's very. I was in this. Was sitting next to me on the way back from Canberra. What was Dick Clay like to play? Dick with? Clay was a Victorian player for the BFL back yeah. in the seventies, sixties and seventies, and the other hotel in Richmond. Any good? Like, star mate, Francis Burke, Dick Clay, and Bill Barrett was the best centre line ever. Yeah. Back in those days, or yeah. still is, recognised as the best. He was, uh, he, he did he had a pretty ordinary game that day. Yeah, that, his, maybe his heart wasn't in it. Well, I don't know, but I was, I got a trophy here for that game, and uh, it, and that's Yard Drink, I said, he said he's actually half the game, he's a good fella too. Yeah. He said, you're too good today, Baz, I said, that's the way it goes. Oh, okay, I said, you, you killed us every time, he's always saying his best games against Richmond, City Jackson. Mm. Tipped his hat to you, did he? He did, he was yeah. acknowledged. I mean, I don't know why I do on playing a half day flank. Mm. I mean, I was a goal kicker, but I finished up going in the forward line the last last one kicked the goal. Right, snuck forward. Mm. A little bit sneaky. Biggest ground I've ever played on, the Manuka Oval. Yeah, oh, yeah, that one. They have Biggest trimmed, ground they, ever. They have trimmed it a little bit. Um, Do they? Yeah. Do they? S- they bought the, um, you know, the, the boundaries in. It was a monster. Yeah. It's a but good oh, ground. That was pretty sick. Yeah, that was a very good. I just found that uh, friend hiding away in my little boxes outside. Yep. And hiding away, dragged it out. So PH remember, remember Dick and Clay. Yeah, PH all over that. Now, what's happening in the World Cup, Barry? Well, it's down to the quarterfinals, Colin. And Quarters, I think yes. it's, uh, I was just telling you before we come on here, I was a little bit, su- not a little bit, su- I'm very surprised at Bangers Bain. Uh-huh. They've been going all right, haven't they? I talked they, about them last they, week. They thrashed England. Mm-hmm. And they beat Pakistan. Who did they beat yesterday? They had a few wins. They had a few wins, the old bangers, but um, so they they, bought all, they beat all the ones I was supposed to beat, but they beat Zimbabwe or whatever it was, Ireland, or, um, Ireland all those sort of yeah, teams. The games are, in the quarterfinals, Australia's playing Pakistan yeah, on Friday, yeah. New Zealand's playing West Indies, that'll be... Good game. They're not going too fast to New Zealand, just scraping home lately. Mm, one, every McCullen, game, one every game. Yeah, but yeah, McCullough's yeah. not going too fast at the moment, and mm. Sri Lanka's playing South Africa, and the bangers are playing India. That's right. So Wednesday is the Sri Lanka so game. So when does it start? These Wednesday. Quarters? What's today? Monday. Two days. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wednesday, Thursday, so Friday. So Australia's Saturday. getting televised. The Australia one's been televised. Yeah. The other ones will be on Foxtel. So yeah, right. Foxtel. And then there's Tuesday, Thursday games next week. So when when is the semi-finals? Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah, the week after Tuesday and Thursday. And the grand finals week after. On the Sunday, yeah. Where at? MCG. MCG. Two thirty. You reckon they're going to be a big crowd? I think so. Especially... Well, football's on there, Carl. No, football starts the weekend. Yeah, but there's a lot of football going on there at the moment. No, there's no football now, on now. that weekend. That weekend's no football, because it's, it's the week before the football starts. The start. main start? Yeah. Well, just, it starts on a Wednesday They have to do something, because everybody will be going to watch the NAD Cup. No. On TV. Oh, it'll be big, especially if, if India... If Australia's in it... If India make it. If Australia's in it... And if India... If they get knocked out, well, there won't be too many watching. I can tell you I now. I tell you right now, if India oh, in it, India will, well, they'll be it'll be huge crowd. They had India in South Africa; they had ninety thousand at the MCG. 
Biggest crowd that ever. Was Australia's crowd, wasn't it? No, India and South Africa. Australia got 90,000. Yeah, in India and South Africa, 90,000. Oh, yes, there's a, millions of Indians in Australia. So, do you think there will be many challenge, changes in the Australian team, Barry? Well, I can't, I get sick of all these people talking about Shane Watson. Here he goes again, 24. That's his average, good average score of 24. And Michael Scott. Clark, I'm dead set sure now he is. Do you see him talking to Watson on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Best friends. Coming off the ground and shaking his hand. Good joke. My team would be uh, the, the ones just on the outside, and not on the outside. James Hawke was not on the outside. He's, mm. He'll be, he'll be, he's got to be on the side. Maxwell and I hope Mitch Mars. I hope Mitchell Mars is there in place of Watson. Mm. I probably won't be. No, the rest no. of the team, the same has been going. Uh, I mean. It, Clark didn't give Warner a... Or he sent me a number four. Because mm. it was about uh, uh, yeah, practice for others. This is, this is full on. Of course, he, give, he brings Watson up and he brings up... Uh, who else did he bring up? All the team, most of them. Faulkner? Yeah, Faulkner. I thought they'd give him a, hit yeah. a number five, yeah, but... Uh, but I think they'll still win. Against, yeah. Against Whoever. Pakistan, yeah. Who do you think they're going to play? Pakistan, yeah. No, in the final. New Zealand? I said that before they started. I just got a little, little bit of doubt. If oh, about New Zealand. Yeah, but they're sort of qualified and they've just been getting over the line a bit. You know, when the edge has gone off and you've qualified already, like early, you sort no, of... No, good batsmen don't think like that, Colin. They just get out there and they just treat every game as a final. Yeah. Like McCullum, but he's just had two failures and... What's it's the other a bit like off? that game where Australia played against... Scotland, they were already qualified, they wanted to win, but... Well, that's a different story altogether, I mean, Ireland can't play, they're just ordinary side. But Scotland is. Scotland, but, uh, well, I do think that uh, they probably will play Watson. Right, so, just a little bit of football news, you went to see Chelsea play a practice game? I did go and see the Chelsea football club play against himself, an intra-club intra, intra game, it was very, uh, was quite... Uh, Taken aback, I thought it was a fair bit of class. We knew about half a dozen, probably seven players will be in next year. It was playing last year, and they are a fellow called uh, Taylor, Zane Taylor. Come, he, he's going to be a gun. We've got this SN fellow, Walsh, and oh, and you've got another fellow coming down there quick. Now, they, they, they did Guerra play? Killed him, yeah. he's, he's going to be a star. Yeah. He's going to be a star. He's, and oh, listen, I was listening to him speech and talking, and he's a uh, Everyone likes him, Colin. Oh, right. Like the other fellow last year, no one liked him. The only yeah. person who liked him was his mother. Right, that's pretty sad. But he is, is a player, I was telling him Snake. Yeah. He is a player's coach. Right. He, he treats yeah. him like normal players, normal like a friend, friend sort of thing. And not being up here, right yeah. up here, to get the camera up here, right up yeah. here. And I think that other place should be, that's, that's where they should be down there. He, he just communicates with everybody, not just the stars. So some good, um, good, uh, yeah, some good, good vibes. Good vibes. Yeah. That's what and we like to hear. And they're playing next week. They're playing Cheltenham next week and Bentley the week after. So looking forward to a bit of football. Okay. Coming up will yeah. be. Uh, well, I do think they'll uh, if they get this other big rap. Oh, but we got Rory Greg. He'll he's he fight up the ruck and uh, Jack O. I think we might be all right in the ruck yeah. now too without getting the. Uh, okay. Without getting to. Okay. So you're feeling confident. So Chelsea supporters. You can look forward to a, a lot better season than last year. Well, I know we didn't have, we didn't have to improve much from last year, like second last or last, but uh, we will be up very close to the fall. Five. Very good. Now, what's your prediction for Richmond for the year? Top four, Colin. Oh. Why I know, do you say that? I know they just... It was only a practice game. They beat Port Adelaide by 11 goals mm. yesterday. Didn't have any in their stars. And I don't give a stuff who they have. Uh-huh. Oh, that's... No, they got. I was looking at the list, and everyone's fit. Yeah. Marek's fit. Yeah, he half the good. season last year. And uh, I, th- I heard. Um, what's his name? Martin was playing more. Martin back, uh More. Uh, he can play anyway. He was just playing more in the middle, and Morris was playing as a forward. Look, they got that many. They've got some good, very good, strong on balls and back backmen recruited, or coming from the last two or three years. Miles and this other fellow they're talking about. He's going to be a spit like Miles. Tough Lam- nail. Lambert. Lamb- Kane Lambert, yeah, another mm. fellow too. Uh, toughest now, look. Two nails. Top four for six. Hello. PH, 
Right here. Right here. Top, top four for sure. You heard it right here first, live. Very good. Well, it's a uh, good look. It's very, I mean, have seen a good early form. It does help. It doesn't mean just because they're practice gun, but good early form. And I mean, to beat them by 11 goals. They only scored five goals. Yeah. What they like. Yeah. Over there. Because right, really well, they're all fit. Cotchen's all, he's 100%. Delidio, they're all uh, all firing up. Now they'll be there in the top four. There we go. Don't Better forget here. I said that. You can check the tape later anyway. Cheerios, Barry. Yeah, Cheerios. We got Cheerios to little Annie and Carla and one and a half days last week. Blackouts. Blackouts. Brownouts. Brownouts, whatever you call it. They used to get Burnouts. Used to it. Of course, PH, Sandy and Carlos and Jerry. Uh, any chance of getting any any more curtains? PH told me that you look after him with a new pair of curtains. It's very good, Joe. Wish it, I could do the pair over here. So mine's yeah. about ten foot by eight foot. So if you've got any other spare curtains, Jerry. <laughs> send it down. horizontal. Send it down to Barry Boy. All yeah. right. So how's things go, Jerry? All right. I haven't yeah. well, well, spoken for a while, but uh, the PH he could be going to get his operation. He's got to go and see the specialist next week or a couple of weeks time. So that. He's got three hernias. Wow. Three. Man with three hernias. And he's, uh, I presume, when they give you the, the check you out, it's only about a week after. Is that about right? And they did check what you've got to be done to yourself? Not sure. That's a good sign. So I hope PH, you uh, get that fixed. Get it all fixed right up. Fixed up because it's uh, not good. No, no, pain's no good at all. Mm. Uh, I mentioned Annie and, Car Annie and Carla. Yeah, she... She's a, she's a very clever girl, is her daughter, Carla. Aren't you, you little, little diva? But that's about all we've got for today, Colin Chapter. Very good. So that is goodbye from me. Goodbye from me, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.